Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I'm just going to show you how to make these cute little flower dingly danglies. Um, I just think they are so, so lovely. Um, really, really simple to make as well. Um, this one I showed you in a previous video. So all as they are, I did little bits of fabric flower that I had left over. Um, I took some apart actually um, a while ago and I had these little petals um, left over so I thought I'd make some little flowers. This one I have lace in there and some um, cheesecloth and some lovely beads. Now these beads are from BB Crafts um, and so is the wire. Um, so I think they are just gorgeous. This one I've made, let me just get my little pair of pliers there. And this one just sort of like dingles, dingly danglies down and it just looks lovely. Now these I think would look lovely on the edge of a journal. And you've got these beautiful little beads in there. Little bit of cheesecloth and the flower. Um, beautiful. And then we've got like a bead cap on there. So they are absolutely gorgeous. This is a nice little ditty one, isn't it? So they are lovely. So I'm going to just show you how simple they are to make. So what we're going to be using, we're going to be using some of this wire. Now this is the 26 gauge wire, so this is quite thin. Um, and it's the silver one. So I'm just going to take a length of this, probably maybe 15, 15 inches or um, what would be about 45 centimetres, something like that. Let's just clip a bit off. You probably don't need as much, um, really. So I'm going to use some wire. I'm going to use one of these little um, petals. Um, and I've got some jump rings here as well. So these are the gorgeous beads from BB Craft. So I'm just going to take some wire, thread it on. Don't need to go halfway, but thread it on and just bend it sort of like in half and then all we're going to do is twist that little bit of wire like that. Now I'm going to take my pliers just to get it just a little bit tighter like that. So you've got a little bead on the end, not on the end, sort of like in the middle. And then I'm going to take this piece again. I'm going to take the longer piece and I'm going to thread another bead, a different one. So we've got the clear one. So I've got some seed beads on here. So I'll pop the link to the um, video where I showed you all the beads that I, lovely beads that I got from BB Crafts. So what we're going to do again, we're just going to thread that on and twist that round. So we've got a little bead on there like that. And then we just put that one and that one together. So we've got them like that. Now do them in different lengths. I've done the, the same length. So try and get them different lengths so it gives you a nice um, sort of middle of your flower. Looks nice. Thread another bead on. So let's make this one a little bit shorter. Or should we make it longer? Let's make it quite long. So let's just bend that over like that. Probably going to be the same size, isn't it? Twist it round. Just so simple to do, but don't worry, I'll put hand cream on and now I can't twist it, can I? So that was a bit silly thing to do. And just pop them together. So you can do this as many times as you like. I've got a little um, pearl. Let's pop, if I can get them in like that. Pop the little pearl in. Pop that down. Let's make this one a little bit shorter. So just Pop them on and then just fold the wire over like that and then just twist it on like that and then just fold that up. There we go. So you've got a nice little bunch. Shall we just have one? So we have five of them. I'm going to pop another silver one on because I think these silver ones are really, really lovely. Twist that over and then just twist it around. So you're just twisting the beads on and then we just push them all together in a nice little bundle like that. So that's lovely. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hold the end of the wire here and then I'm just going to twist. So we've got a little twist in that wire as well. The bit that's sort of left over. So a nice piece left over like that. 
don't twist it too much because this wire is quite thin and it does tend to break quite easily so we're going to cut that little bit off like that okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to take another bead and I'm going to pop that on there like that so that's almost like a little stopper now I'm going to get some cheesecloth and I've got a little bit here now you can use cheesecloth or lace or if you've got any little bits of fabric that you want to use and pop in there any little sort of leftover bits now I'm going to just pop that in half and I'm going to take that just pop that over the top so it just sits on there like that and then I'm going to just take my little flower the little petals and pop them over like that now I think that cheesecloth is just oops there goes my bead I think this is just a little bit too big so I'm going to fold that over again let's pop our bead back on and what I'm going to do actually I'm going to take my glue gun I'm going to just pop a dab of glue now you can use some tacky glue if you like on there just to hold that in place and then I'm going to pop another little dab of glue on there coming out there we are then I'm going to pop the cheesecloth over the top pop that in there and that will just sort of like stick it on there just so you've got some little raggedy bits hanging off another little bit of glue just a tiny bit and that's going to hold the little petals on like that so just stick that down just like that so then we've got this lovely little flower now I'm going to now pop one of these little bead caps now let's just see what size that just sits on there look doesn't that look lovely I think they just finish it off lovely oh that's stuck on there but if it doesn't stuck that little bit of glue that I had on there is stuck that on there nicely but stick a little another little bit of um, glue a bit of glue gun or something on there and um, hold that down so then I'm going to take a little silver bead and pop that on as well so look at that doesn't that look the cutest I think they are just lovely now I'm going to take my little round nose pliers I'm going to hold them at the end I'm going to push that over to the side and then we're just going to make a little loop so that goes around and then I'm going to just wrap that round just to secure it like that just a few times and there we go we've got our little loop I'm going to cut this little piece off there because we don't need that and then we'll just squash that down and there we go we have this look at that just looks so so pretty doesn't it these would if you've got like a little fairy journal or something I think these would look lovely they look like little fairies anyway don't they little garden fairies I'm going to take a little um, jump ring and just open that up popping a little jump ring on there um, just makes it dangle so it just gives it another little dangle on there so you could probably pop a little um, ball pin or something in there as well or a little bit of fabric or look we've got a little bit of ribbon there that you could probably just pop that through Shall we see what that looks like if I can get it through the little hole let's see there we go look at that and then they just dangle down so you could just you can can't, probably can't see that very well but look I just think that is so so gorgeous and so so simple to do shall we make another one quick let's get another bit of wire oops so I just tangle that up let's take that out another length of wire I'm going to just snip that off we shall take some more little beads I do have some tiny tiny little seed beads you probably won't be able to see them but they really really are too small um, I didn't realize when I ordered them how small they were going to be 
um, but they are going to be perfect for another project that I would like to do and that's involving some resin so the next video well it's not going to be the next video because the next video is going to be the Friday freebie tomorrow so I shall just pop these on and twist that around so over the weekend I will do a video with resin because I haven't done that for ages and I've got some lovely um, little resin hearts and stuff that I would like to to have a go at filling up they look lovely so let's just twist these around so look you can make all sorts of things these this sort of like style you make um, some lovely um, wedding hair pieces when you do things like this if you have a look at wedding hair pieces it gives you a lovely idea of how to make some things like this but I just wanted to make flowers because I love flowers nice flowers let's pop another another little pearl on this one twist that round these would make lovely Christmas decorations actually wouldn't they if you had little pearls on the end like that you could make some lovely little stars right now you've got those pop them all together bring them all up like that together so you've got a nice little bundle of pretty little um, beads hold on to that and then let's just twist that so we need to just twist the extra sort of length of wire around just to give a little little twist like that I'm going to just cut the end off because we don't need all of that so we will pop a little bit of glue a little bit of um, glue gun I'm going to pop a little bead this little bead just stops the um, petals and the cheesecloth falling all the way down to the bottom now here we go here's another little piece don't think we need all of that do we let's just chop a little bit off like that I just folded it in four pop that through so is that going to go through my wire caught up there we go I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on there so it will stays in place just a tiny bit push that in that doesn't that look so it looks so pretty just like that you could have lots of little if you didn't have any um, little petals like this you could just make little fabric ones couldn't you you could just layer up your little bits of fabric um, which would look really really pretty I'll pop a little bit of glue on there and then shall we just pop this pink one on there this is pretty isn't it oops let's get another bead that on top just squish that down squish it down like that oh no I don't need the bead on top we need the um, little bead cap don't we first look at this beautiful so pretty let's have this one on there maybe I could probably put a bigger one on there I think let's pop that one on there we go look at this I just think they are so pretty let's get a little bit of glue on there hold him in place oops out the way let's take it off that will be easier tiny bit of glue let's pop you back on there squish that down shall we pop a little bead let's have a little pink one go in trying to do it left handed so that doesn't work there we go little pink bead on there lovely just pull it down perfect now 
now I'm going to take my little round nose pliers, hold it at the end like that and just push it to one side so it looks like that and then move your pliers to the top like that and then just pull that round like that hold that in there and then just take this piece oops didn't do very well did it and then I'm just going to wrap that round that last bit and that sort of gives you a nice little little bit like that gives you a nice little loop if I can cut them off. I think I need to get some new pliers I think, new cutters or sharpen those. There we are, lovely. Look at that, how pretty is that? And then what I'm going to do, I have got another little um, bead that I made here which has got, again, I've got made a little loop at the bottom, put a bead on, a bead cap, a lovely glass bead, which are the, the bigger ones here. Um, and then another bead cap and a clear little um, C bead. So, and then what I'm going to do, take a little jump ring, like that, open it up, that on there, oopsie daisy, pop it through there, pop that on there and then we will just close that up like that. And then we want another little jump ring at the top. If I can, open this up. There we go, just think that's lovely, look at that, doesn't that just look pretty, and that will look so so pretty um, hanging off a little journal, wouldn't it, I think they are just beautiful. So there we go guys, that is how you can make some beautiful little flower dingly danglies, a um, little bit of lace or fabric or you can have some seam binding hanging them off but I just think they are beautiful so so simple so pretty um, and you could probably use them for anything I do like the little sort of like creamy yellow ones I think they look beautiful but look at that love them so there we go guys quick um, easy little tutorial um, and it's lovely BB craft beads on there I'll pop the link to everything that I've used um, from BB Crafts under the video. So there we go. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Um, please stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. All right, guys. Bye-bye.